For sake, rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. For so they persecuted the prophets who were before you. You are the salt of the earth, but if the salt loses its flavor, how shall it be seasoned? It is then good for nothing but to be thrown out and trampled underfoot by men. You are the light of the world, a city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden, nor do they light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a lampstand. And it, and it gives light to all who are in the house. house. Let, Let your light so shine before men, men that, that they may see your good works and glorify, glorify Father, Father who is in heaven. Fear the handwriting of our sins, O Christ our God, and, and save, save us. I, I cry to God, and the Lord hear me. God, God hear my prayer, and do not refuse my petition. Be, be attentive to me, and, and hear me in the evening, in the morning, and at midday. I, I say my words, and he hears my voice, voice and, and delivers my soul, soul in peace.
and the minister of the, the bishop, the priest, and deacon, and all the congregation, my week said, be absolved from the most of the Holy Trinity, <coughs> the Father and Son of the Holy Spirit, from the Holy Catholic and the Apostolic Church, and from the most of the twelve apostles, and from the most of the beholder of God, the Gentile, St. Mark, the Apostle, and Mark, to the Patriot, St. Severus, our teacher, Jesus, and the the Apostolic, St. Peter, the Holy Master, and the High Priest, St. John, Chrysostom, St. Cyril, St. Basil, and St. Gregory, and from the most of the 318 assembled at Nicaea, not to cost 100 at Constantinople and the 200 at Ephesus. And the most of our honor, the Father, the High Priest of our Lord, the Second, and the Father, and the Apostolic Liturgy of my Father, the Bishop, and by Yusuf and by Beamin, and from the mouth of my object shall for blessed and full of the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit, now and all times, with all ages. Amen. Of our honored Father, the Archpriest Pope of Ottawa, Rose, and our Father, the Metropolitan of Serapion, and our Father, the Bishop of Yusuf, and our Father, the Bishop of Beloved of Christ, save Amen. And with your spirit, they Yeah. 
of the Theotokos, Saint Mary, O Lord, grant us the forgiveness of our sins. Sessions of the seven arch angels and the heavenly order. So, Lord, grant us the forgiveness of our sins. of the disciples, O Lord, grant us the forgiveness of our sins. the apostle O Lord grant us the forgiveness of our sins of our honored Father, the arch priest Pope of Ottawa, Jerusalem. O Lord, grant us the forgiveness of our sins. 
servant of our Lord Jesus Christ, called to be an apostle, appointed to the gospel of God. A reading from the first epistle of our teacher Paul to the Corinthians. May his holy blessings be with us. Amen. And I, brethren, when I came to you, did not come with excellence of speech or of wisdom, declaring to you the testimony of God. For I determined not to know anything among you except Jesus Christ and him crucified. I was with you in weakness and fear and in much trembling. And my speech and my preaching were not with persuasive words of human wisdom, but in demonstration of the spirit of, and of power. That your faith should not be in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. However, we speak wisdom among those who are mature, yet not the wisdom of this age, nor of the rulers of this age who are coming to nothing. But we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery, the hidden wisdom which God ordained before the ages for our glory, which none of the rulers of this age knew. For had they known, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. But as it is written, I has not seen, nor ear heard, nor have entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for those who love him. But God has revealed them to us through his Spirit. For the Spirit searches all things, yes, the deep things of God. For what man knows the things of a man except the Spirit of the man which is in him? 
Even so, no one knows the things of God except the Spirit of God. Now we have received not the Spirit of the world, but the Spirit who is from God, that we might know the things that have been freely given to us by God. These things we also speak, not in words which man's wisdom teaches, but which the Holy Spirit teaches, comparing spiritual things with spiritual. But the natural man does not receive the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolish. For they are foolishness to him, nor can he know them, because they are spiritually discerned. But he who is spiritual judges all things, yet he himself is rightly judged by no one. For who has known the mind of the Lord, that he may instruct him? But we have the mind of Christ. The grace of God the Father be with you all. Amen. The Catholic Epistle from the first epistle of our teacher, St. Peter, may his blessing be upon us all. Amen. Therefore, gird up the loins of your mind, be sober, and rest your hope fully upon the grace that is to be brought to you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. As obedient children, not conforming yourselves to the former lusts, as in your ignorance, but as he who called you is holy, you also be holy in all your conduct. Because it is written, Be holy, for I am holy. And if you call on the Father, who without partiality judges according to each one's work, conduct yourselves throughout the time of your stay here in fear, knowing that you were not redeemed with corruptible things like silver or gold from your aimless conduct received by tradition from your fathers, but with the precious blood of Christ as of a lamb without blemish and without spot. He indeed was foreordained before the foundation of the world, but was manifest in these last times for you who through him believe in God, who raised him from the dead and gave him glory, so that your faith and hope are in God. Do not love the world, nor the things which are in the world. The world is passing away in all its lust. But he who does the will of God abides forever. Amen.
Acts of our fathers, the apostles, may their blessings be with us. Amen. A reading from the Acts of our fathers, the pure apostles, who were invested with the grace of the Holy Spirit, may their blessings be with us all. Amen. But Saul increased all the more in strength and confounded the Jews who dwelt in Damascus, proving that this Jesus is the Christ. Now after many days were passed, the Jews plotted to kill him, but their plot became known to Saul, and they watched the gates day and night to kill him. Then the disciples took him by night and let him down through the wall in a large basket. And when Saul had come to Jerusalem, he tried to join the disciples, but they were all afraid of him and did not believe that he was a disciple. But Barnabas took him and brought him to the apostles, and he declared to them how he had seen the Lord on the road and that he had spoken to him and how he had preached boldly in Damascus in the name of Jesus. So he was with them at Jerusalem, coming in and going out. And he spoke boldly in the name of the Lord Jesus and disputed against the Hellenists, but they attempted to kill him. When the brethren found out, they brought him down to Caesarea and sent him to, out to Tarsus. Then the churches throughout all Judea, Galilee, and Samaria, and on the first day of the month of Baona, she performed the miracle of melting the iron and rescuing the apostle St. Matthias from the prison. Her departure was also on the 21st of the month of Tuba. Some of the fathers, the apostles, also consecrated the first church after her name in the city of Philippi on the 21st of the month of Baona. And that was after her departure. May her intercession be with us all. Amen. On this day also of the year 257 AD, the Honorable Bishop St. Cyprian and St. Justina were martyred. Cyprianus was from the city of Antioch, from a rich and well-educated family. He received a great deal of knowledge and education, and he pursued his studies in the arts of magic until he excelled in them. The pagans came to him to help them deal with the, their problems with his magic. In Antioch, there was a city, a very beautiful girl called Justina, which means the, the little. She had believed in the Christian faith along with her parents. Her heart was kindled with the love of Christ, so she vowed her virginity to the Lord. She went to the church regularly, and a young man saw her and was fond of her. He was not able to obtain what he desired from her, for she preserved on persevered on prayer and fasting so the Lord would keep her a pure bride for him. When this young man gave up all hope, he went to Cyprian, the sorcerer, entreating him to fulfill his desire for her. Cyprian promised him to use all his magic to fulfill his wish. Nevertheless, all his efforts failed, for every time he sent to her demonic powers, they find her standing praying, so they go back to him defeated. When Cyprian failed, he called the demons and told them, If you do not bring Justina to me, I shall adopt Christianity. The devil thought out a device to deceive him. He ordered one of his soldiers to disguise himself and to take the form of Justina and then go to Cyprian. He hastened and made it known to Cyprian her coming. So he rejoiced and waited for her. Then Satan, disguised as Justina, came to him, and Cyprianus rejoiced and rose up to embrace her. Because of his great joy in her, he told her, Welcome, Queen of Women, Justina. Upon the mere mention of her name, Satan, disguised as her, disappeared like smoke. Cyprianus knew that this was a deceitful trick of Satan, who could not stand before the mentioning of her name. When Cyprian realized the weakness of the devils before the power of prayers and faith in the Lord Christ, he devoted himself in studying the Christian religion. He recognized the great difference between Christianity and pagan philosophy. The Holy Spirit worked in his heart, and he believed in the Lord Christ. Immediately, Cyprian rose up 
and burned his books of magic and was baptized by the patriarch of Antioch. He started in true repentance to pray and fast, devoting his time for worship. He sold all his possessions and distributed them among the poor and the needy. Later on, the patriarch of Antioch ordained, ordained him a deacon, then a priest. When he saw his advancement in piety and virtues, the patriarch consecrated him a bishop. So he increased in grace and service. St. Cyprian sought St. Justina and built a convent for her where she lived and became the mother of many virgins. When Valerian incited persecution against the Christian, the governor seized the holy bishop Cyprian and St. Justina and many Christians. When they came before the court, they confessed to the Lord Christ without hesitation. Justina was whipped severely, severely with an ox tail, and Cyprian was hung in the air, and his body was torn with red hot iron rods. In spite of the severe torture, they remained steadfast in the faith. They were sent to prison where they praised God for the honor of being tortured for the sake of the name of Christ. When the governor became weary from torturing them, he sent them to Emperor Valerian. When he knew their account, he ordered them beheaded. So they received the crown of martyrdom. May the blessings of their prayers be with us all, and glory be to our God forever. <coughs> Amen. Who was born of the Virgin? Have mercy upon us. Holy God, holy mighty. Holy immortal who rose from the dead and ascended into the heaven, have mercy upon us, Lord Sabbathry. Jesus Christ, our God, who said to his saintly honored disciples and holy apostles, many prophets and righteous men have desired to see the things which you see and have not seen them, and to hear the things which you hear and have not heard them. But as for you, blessed are your eyes, for they see, and your ears, for they hear. 
May we be worthy to hear and to act according to your holy gospels through the prayers of your saints. Pray for the holy gospel. Lord, have mercy. Remember also our master, all those that have bidden us to remember them in our prayers and supplications, which we offer up unto you, O Lord, our God. Those who have already fallen asleep, repose them. Those who are sick, heal them. For you are the life of us all, the salvation of us all, the hope of us all, the healing of us all, and the resurrection of us all. Stand in the fear of God. Let us hear the holy gospel from the mouth of our honored and righteous Father, the thrice blessed, our honored Father, the Metropolitan of Asarapion, Bishop of the Christ, loving city of Los Angeles and Hawaii and its vicinity. May the God of heaven confirm him on his throne for many years and peaceful times. Humiliate all his enemies under his feet speedily. Grant him calm and delightful times. And grant us grace and mercy through his prayers and supplications. The Gospel according to our teacher, St. Luke, the Evangelist. May his blessing be with us. The 
Shoz ben Lot, ye ben Sotiro, ben Oro, Tirin, Isos, Vechristos, Epshiri, and Mevnot, yet on Ti, on Afsha, and Evi, Ufa, ben Not, ye be, Shanito, Amien. David the prophet and king, may his blessing be with us all. Amen. The Lord, the lives and the blessed be my God and the Lord, the God of my salvation, be exalted. Therefore, will I confess to you, O Lord, among the Gentiles and sing to your name. He comes in the name of the Lord, our Lord, the God and the Savior, Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, to whom is glory. Jesus enter and pass through Jericho. Now behold, there was a man named Zacchaeus who was a chief tax collector and he was rich. And he thought to see who Jesus was, but could not because of the crowd, for he was of a short stature. So he ran ahead and climbed up into a sycamore tree to see him for he was going to pass that way. And when Jesus came to the place, he looked up and saw him and said to him, Zacchaeus, make haste and come down, for today I must stay at your house. So he made haste and came down and they received him joyfully. But when they saw it, they all murmured, saying, he has gone to be a guest with a man who is a sinner. Then Zacchaeus stood and said to the Lord, Look, Lord, I give half of my goods to the poor, and if I have taken anything from anyone by false accusation, I restore fourfold. And Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this house, because he also is a son of Abraham. For the Son of Man has come to seek and to save that which he was lost. Glory be In the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. We thank God who brought us to this hour and to this day in which we uh, celebrate the ordination of a new priest and also establishment of a new church, St. Athanasius uh, Coptic Orthodox Church. And this church actually uh, will serve the American culture. And I want to make clear in the mind of everybody, when we speak about American Coptic Orthodox Church, we are not speaking about watered down uh, Christianity or Orthodoxy. Uh, because I heard some comments from some people, uh, thank God finally we will have one hour liturgy uh, we will not have to fast like uh, all the fasts of the church. This is actually a wrong perception of the American Coptic Orthodox Church. Uh, the American Coptic Orthodox Church actually uh, will, will serve the culture, the American culture. When St. Mark came and preached in Egypt, he did not force the Jewish culture on Egypt. But actually, he gave them the heritage of faith 
And then the Holy Spirit worked in the Egyptian culture. And when we speak about the Coptic uh, spirituality, Coptic spirituality is the work of the Holy Spirit in the Coptic culture. And the Holy Spirit actually works in every culture. The Holy Spirit is not limited to work in a certain culture. And also the Holy Spirit is willing and is already working in the American culture. So when we speak here about uh, American Coptic Orthodox churches, uh, the faith and the Orthodox faith, the heritage of faith that we received from our fathers never ever will be compromised. But all the heritage that we received from our mother church, the Coptic Orthodox Church, actually it is our uh, faithfulness, it's our responsibility to hand it down from generation to generation. And as you will listen today in the vow of commitment that the new priest will recite before God and before the altar and before the angels and before the saints and before the clerus and before all of you, he will say, I vow to keep the Orthodox faith. I vow to keep all the canons and the tradition of the church. I vow to keep all the rites of the church. So this will never be compromised. But there are two challenges that faith face the people from a different culture. The first challenge is the challenge of the language, and the second the challenge is the challenge of the culture. And the culture has nothing to do with the faith. So in these churches, the goal is how to overcome these two challenges. So everybody who comes and, and, and worship in these churches, he will feel home, he will feel belonging, he will feel part of this church. But it is not a watered-down uh, Christianity or a watered-down or orthodoxy. The heritage of faith will be handed as we received it from the, our fathers. Also, it is our responsibility to hand it down to those who will come after us. I want to, that's why I chose the name of St. Athanasius to this church in order to send the message. As uh, St. Athanasius actually is stood against all the world, contra mundum, in order to keep the faith, in order to protect the faith, in order not to compromise the faith. So these churches also will be like St. Athanasius, will never compromise the faith, but rather will make the church uh, acceptable to the American culture so people who grew up here or people from the American culture uh, can come to the church, feel home, feel belonging, feel part of the church, the body of Christ. And at the end, actually, all these churches from all different cultures should integrate together. Because as we see in the book of Revelation, from every tribe, from every tongue, from every nation, so the integration of all these churches together is a very, very important. I'm speaking churches from different cultures. When they integrate together in the same body, the body of Christ, that's also very important. So there will not be separation between churches, but all the churches uh, will have one mind and one thought uh, united together in the body of Christ. Uh, we want actually, uh, I'm asking all of you to keep praying for the spread of the Orthodox faith in the American culture so the people here in America may know the beauty uh, of the Orthodoxy and how the Orthodox Church kept the faith unchanged since the time we received it from our Lord Jesus Christ and the uh, apostles. And uh, today, actually, uh, I thank God for the presence and the blessing of my beloved fathers, His Eminence Metropolitan Srabion of Los Angeles and His Grace Bishop Beeman of uh, Uth uh, and Ada, who came to celebrate with us the ordination and also to 
uh, grant us their apostolic blessings. We thank both of them for their love, their kindness, and uh, I am asking their prayers on behalf of all of us, on behalf of the new church and the new priest, that the Lord may bless their ministry for uh, the glory of God through the prayers of St. Mary, Mother of God, prayer of St. Athanasius, and prayer of our beloved Father, His Holiness Pope Tawadros. And now we will listen to the words of the Holy Spirit on the mouth of His Grace, um, Bishop Beeman. Glory be to God forever and ever. Amen. بسم الاب والابن والروح القدس اله واحد امين انا مش عارف اقول ايه خصوصا العربي بتاعي عربي صعيدي فانتوا عندكم مشكله الصعيدي للعربي ومن العربي للانجليزي هذه مشكله يا سيدنا فانا انا طبعا سعيد جدا وفرحان جدا النهارده النهارده يوم خاص في حياتي انا زي النهارده دخلت الدير فأنا يعني حس إن أنا برضو جوا الدير وداخل الدير النهاردة كلام ده من بدري فأنا فرحان جدا والنهاردة طبعا أهم من ده ومن ده أم العذراء عيد أمنا العذراء القديسة الطاهرة مريم وعيد القديس كيريانوس القديسة يوستينا وطبعا النهاردة فرحة جوا الكنيسة إن هتم صيامة أب كاهن في كنيسة اللي اتكلم عنها سيدنا حسب ما فهمت يعني هو انا خريج مش خريج ازهر جوي يعني بفهم شوية يعني <تصفيق> انا تعليقا على كلام سيدنا بعد اذنك سيدنا القديس سنسس الرسولي لما رسم القديس فرامانتيوس او القديس انبا سلامة وبعته لاثيوبيا ما نجلش الطقس القبطي وراح حطوه لهم هناك لا خلاهم هما يؤمنوا إيمان أرثوذكسي في إثيوبيا بس تراديشن بتاعتهم حتى هم ليهم حركات وليهم بتاع ما نقولش لا الله ده مش دي مش كنيستنا لا هي هي نفس الكنيسة هي هي نفس الإيمان هو هو سهم بيعبروا بالطريقة بتاعتهم وده أعتقد اللي تقصده سيدنا مش كده فإحنا مطلوب إن إحنا نحترم ال التقليد أو الثقافة بتاعة الشعوب ونوصل لهم الإيمان ونحرس الإيمان ناخد بالنا من الإيمان إن ما فيش حاجة تدخل برا أو جوا فأنا بحيي سيدنا على هذه الخطوة وبركة كبيرة يا رب إنه يعني كل كنيسة من كنيسنا يبقى لها كمان كنيسة ثانية في كل بلد من بلادنا الحلوة أنا هوعز أقول إيه لكن النهاردة القديس بطرس الرسول بيقول نظير القدوس الذي دعاكم كونوا أنتم أيضا قديسين في كل سيرة نظير القدوس الذي دعاكم كونوا أنتم أيضا قديسين في كل سيرة واتكررت مرتين أنه السيد المسيح بيقول كونوا قديسين كما أن أباكم الذي في السماوات هو قدوس الدعوة دي لمين؟ للأسقفة وللكهنة ولا لكل الناس لكل الناس إن احنا كلنا نبقى قديسين وده طلب ربنا مننا ولما طلب مننا ادانا الأدوات اللي نبقى بيها قديسين وصلنا كده ولما احنا نقول نظير القديسين الذي دعاكم كونوا قديسين قبل ما بنتناول أبونا بيقول إيه القدسات للقديسين يعني يعني خدوا بالكم وبعدين الـ 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 القداسة التي بدونها لن يرى أحد الرب يعني إحنا مش هنروح عند مسيحنا نتمتع بالسماء والأبدية إلا لما نبقى قديسين و أرجو أن مفهوم القداسة أكيد سيدنا حاكي فيه ومتكلم عنه مش أن احنا نعمل معجزات قداسة أن احنا نبقى واخدين بالنا أن احنا مخصصين لله مخصص لله قدس للرب يعني مخصص لله فأنت تبقى عارف 
انك انت مخصص لربنا واحنا كل واحد فينا مخصص لله النهارده انا وسيدنا خدنا بركه تعميد ثلاث اطفال بنخصصهم لربنا من ساعه ما يطلعوا من جرم المعمديه وندشنهم بالميرون قدسوا لله زي الاواني المقدسه تقدس لله ما تعملش فيها الا الشيء المقدس الكنيسه بتتدشن تخصص لله فاش الله اسم ربنا والخدمه اللي تمجد اسم الله انت وانا وكل واحد فينا مدشن لله فنحن مدعوين ان نكون مخصصين لله دي اول عطيه من عطايا ربنا لينا ان احنا دشنا وخصصنا لله فاوعى تنسى انتم انتم لستم من العالم مسيحنا كررها مرات كثيرة انتم لستم من العالم لو كنتم من العالم لكان يحبكم العالم لانكم لستم من العالم لذلك المخصصين لله القديسين القديس بولس الرسول في رسائله كثير قوي الى القديسين الذين في افسس القديسين الذين في كرونسوس القديسين خاطب الشعب المسيحي الذي امن بمسيحنا ودخل في الخصوصيه بتاعته بانهم قديسين كونوا قديسين لاني انا قدوس وبعدين مسيحنا اعطى لينا زي ما سمعنا في البولس ان الانسان بروح الله يفحص اعماق الله وقال لنا في التطويبات طوبى لانقياء القلب لانهم يعينون الله الله مصدر كل قداسه هو القداسه المطلقه واحنا القداسه النسبيه بالنسبه له احنا نبقى متواصلين معاه لانه مسيحنا قال ايه كل ما كان قلبك نقي كل ما قدرت تعين ربنا وتاخد القداسه من الله وتفرح بربنا القداسه القداسه عطيه مجانيه الهنا يحب يديها لاولاده مش هي حاجه خاصه يدي لده يبقى قديس وده ما يبقاش قديس لا القداسه عايز يديها لكل الناس وهو دايما بيعمل معانا كده يخبط علينا كل واحد افتح ان فتحت ادخل واتعشى معك وانت معي وادي مسيحنا بيبص علينا بنظرة حنية حتى لو احنا خطا سمعنا كلنا انجيل النهاردة قديس زكا زكا العشار وزكا العشار يقول كده الكتاب كان يطلب مريدا ان يرى يسوع يطلب مريدا يعني مكررة مرتين هو مشتاج ان يرى يسوع واحد المتأملين قال غالبا زوجته هي اللي كانت منحنيه مده ثمانيه عشر عام والسيد المسيح شفاها فكان يطلب مريدا ان يرى يسوع لانه سيد المسيح لما شفاها قال ان هذه ابنه ابراهيم ولما دخل بيت زكا العشار قال ان هذا ابن ابراهيم فربطين بين الكلمتين وقالوا انه هي زوجته اللي كانت منحنيه لذلك اشتاق ان يرى يسوع قصير القامه عايز اشوف يسوع الدنيا زحمه عايز اشوف يسوع ده اللي بيدور على القداسه اللي بيدور على القداسه هو يبقى عنده اراده انا عايز ابقى قديس يا رب انا عايز اشوفك ما القداسه ان انا ابقى مع المسيح او المسيح معايا او ان انا ابقى واخد بالي ان انا ماشي وراه بحث زكا كثيرا عن يسوع كيف يصل اليه وفي الاخر طلع فوق الـ 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 الشجره واحد من المتاملين كده يقول الله نظر الى زكا وزكا بص في عينين المسيح لقيها نظره مختلفه تماما عن كل نظرات الناس الناس كان يقولوا عليه ايه ده خاطي سيد المسيح ما قالش عليه خاطي الناس يقولوا انه ده قصير القامة الناس يقولوا ده جابي ضرائب ده تعبنا وجع قلبنا كل واحد بيبص عليه آه كويس انت قصير 
كويس يا رب ترجع تتكسر لجبتك يا رب كل واحد بيبص الناس اللي موجودين عمالين يبصوا عليه متضايقين منه اللي اخذ منه فلوس واللي ضغط عليه كان رئيس العشارين زكا يعني كان شخصيه كده مبغوض ومكروه فنظرات كراهيه شديده لي الا واحد بس دايما بينظر لينا ونحن اخطا الخطاه يقول لنا كونوا قديسين كما انا قدوس يقول سبيا من نظرة المسيح إليه النظرة الحانية النظرة المحبة النظرة الرائعة الجميلة اللي كلها اشتياق لخلاص النفس نزل قال له انزل يا زكا ينبغي اليوم أن أكون في بيتك وزكا طلع جري أول ما يبقى لينا فرصة إن احنا نتعامل مع المسيح نفتح له باب باب بيتنا نفتح له الباب قال له تعالى عندي يا رب انا انا فرحان انك جاي عندي بيتي افتح له الباب وعمل حاجتين جمال جدا زكا اول حاجه قال ايه يا رب انا مقصر في العمل الايجابي يعني انا ماليش في الفضيله ماليش في العطاء ماليش في الصلوات مالي بص يا ربي انا نصف اموالي هديهم للفقراء والمساكين ده عمل ايجابي ربنا عايزنا دايما كده ونعتذر عن العمل السلبي قال وان كنت قد وشيت باحد ارد له كم مره اربع مرات اربع مرات يعني اعتذر عن الغلط بتاعي مضاعف اربع مرات ان كنت عملت غلط ماديات اردها اربع مرات ادبيات اردها اربع مرات اي غلط انا عملته يا رب أرد أربع مرات وده الاعتراف المظبوط إن أنا أقدم توبة حقيقية عن أي خطية المفروض أنا ما عملش خطية وأعترف عن تقصيري في الإيجابيات إحنا دايما نقعد بجنب أبونا بصيت بصة مش كويسة فكرت فكرة مش كويسة الصرف تتصرف مش كويس قليل ما حد فينا يقول أنا عايز أنمو في الفضيلة عايز أطلع في سلم الفضايل أنا عايز أجرب من القداسة قليل ما نعترف عن تقصيرنا في نمونا في الفضيلة السيد المسيح قال له إيه اليوم حدث خلاص لأهل هذا البيت خلاص البيت ده بيجي في مصدر للقداسة فمسيحنا خصصنا لي بجرن المعمودية والدهام بالميرون المقدس مسيحنا القدوس أعطانا روحه القدوس لندخل في أعماق الله ومسيحنا بيخبط على قلوبنا عشان ندخل ونتعشى معاه وهو معانا ومن أجمل وأحلى وأعظم الأسباب للقداسة إنه أعطى لنا الكهنوت المقدس الكهنوت المقدس عطية مش عشان أنا كاهن لكن دي أعظم العطايا على الإطلاق هي دي اللي بتعمل القديسين هي دي اللي بتقيم القديسين هي دي اللي بتجهز القديسين وتؤهل القديسين عطية في إيدينا أنا عارف إن إحنا لسه ما زلنا نشكر الله كنيستنا القبطية الأرثوذكسية لسه بتحترم وتهاب وتعرف قيمة الكهنوت لكن كل ما الكهنوت قيمته ضاعت من عين الشعب كل ما ضاع الشعب حيثما يوجد الكاهن توجد القداسة وتوجد فرصة للقداسة إن لم توجد القداسة توجد فرصة لنمو القداسة وإحنا النهاردة هيزيد الكهنوت كمان واحد تاني هتتم اقسامته ابونا الاسقف وابونا المطران مستودع الاسرار وابونا الكاهن وكيل الاسرار والاسرار مش يعني حاجه سيكريت يعني لا الاسرار يعني حاجه عميقه جدا ليس لها قرار ما تعرفش تجيب اخرها حاجه عميقه عميقة تصل إلى أعماق الله 
فأسرار الكنيسة المقدسة كل سر فيه سر عميق جدا يعني ايه نسمع ابونا ماسك في ايديه ويقول الجسد المقدس والدم الكريم الجسد المقدس ده تشتهي الملائكة ان تنظره الصرافيم ذو ستة الاجنحة يغطون اعينهم يريدوا ان يروا ولم يروا وزي ما بيقول لنا في الانجيل اباء انبياء وابرار كثيرون اشتهوا ان يروا وانتم ترون ولم يروا وان يسمعوا وانتم تسمعون ولم يسمعوا ده كله في دبون الكاهن ما اجمل ابونا الكاهن اللي بيعمل كده من خلاله هو مسك المفتاح من خلاله بي 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 بيمسح الخطية بيشيل بيعمل ديليت للخطية بتاعتنا واحنا بنقدم توبة قدام الله ونعترف قدام اب اعترافنا ناخد الحل والحل لكل مشاكلنا عطية مجانية اعطاها لنا مسيحنا خدوا بالكم خدوا بالكم يعني لازم نبقى واخدين بالنا من الحته دي قداسه الكهنوت في مسيحنا لانه رئيس الكهنه الاعظم دي قداسه قداسه مطلقه لا تعتمد على شخص امبابيم ولا فلا لا انا ان اعطى لي الله مفاعيل للكهنوت لا لذاتي ولكن للكهنوت الذي فيا اللي مصدره مين؟ مسيحنا القدوس دي عطيه متناول ايدينا مبروك لابونا اللي هيترسم ويبقى وكيل للاسرار يمارس الاسرار ومبروك للشعب اللي هيسمعه ومبروك لينا ككنيسه مقدسه ان مسيحنا بيقول لنا كونوا قديسين لاني انا قدوس مدينا وسائط ان احنا نبقى قديسين انا مش عايز اطول اكتر من كده ويعني شكرا لسيدنا الحبيب انبا يوسف انه دعاني واداني فرصه ان انا اخد بركه معاكم النهارده وسعدت جدا وفرحان جدا وجود ابويا المطران المكرم الانبا سرابيون يعني انا ما استاهلش ان انا ابقى موجود معاهم واخد بركه الاباء الرهوان والكهنه واخد بركتكم وليعطينا الرب كل بركه روحيه يبارك هذه السيامه ويبارك هذه الابرشيه صلوات امنا العذراء صلوات سيدنا البابا الانبا تودروس الثاني وصلوات سيدنا انبا سرابيون وسيدنا انبا يوسف لإلهنا المجد الدائم في كنيسته من الآن والأبد آمين. Women, blessed is the fruit of your womb. Intercede on our behalf, O Lady of the Saul, the Theotokos, Mary, the mother of our Savior, that he may forgive us. Intercede on our behalf, O Holy Archangel Michael, Head of the Heavenly, that He may forgive us our sin. Blessed be the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The perfect Trinity, we worship Him and glorify Him.
the Father of our Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ. We ask and entreat your goodness, O lover of mankind. Remember, O Lord, the peace of your one, only holy Catholic and Apostolic Church. Pray for the peace of one holy Catholic and Apostolic Orthodox Church of God. Have mercy which exists from one end of the world to the other. All peoples and all flocks bless the heavenly peace send down into all our hearts. Even the peace of this life graciously grant to the king, the leader, the army, the rulers, the counselors, the multitudes, neighbors, our coming in and our going out, adorn them with all peace, O King of peace. Grant us your peace, for you have given us all things. Acquire us to yourself, O God, our Savior, for we know none other but you. Your holy name we utter. May our souls live by your Holy Spirit. And let not the death of sins have dominion over us, we your servants. No, for over all your people. Mercy. Again, let us ask God the Father of Pontocrat, or the Father of our Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ. We ask and entreat your goodness, O lover of mankind, to remember, O Lord, our honored patriarch, Father, the high priest, Pope, Abbot of others the second, and his spiritual brethren, the patriarch of Antioch, Maria Ignatius of Prime the second, and the patriarch of Eritrea, Abun Antonius the first, and his partner, the Apostolic Church, our Father, the Metropolitan, Abbot Serapion, and our Father, the Bishop, Abba Yusuf, and our Father, the Bishop, Abba Beeman. secure for us for many years and peaceful times, fulfilling the holy high priesthood with which you have entrusted them for yourself according to your holy and blessed will, rightly handling the word of truth, shepherd and your, your people in purity and righteousness, and all the orthodox bishops, hegemons, priests, and deacons, and all the fullness of you, one only holy Catholic and apostolic church, grant them and us peace and safety in every place. Their prayers, which they offer on our behalf, as well as ours on their behalf, as well as ours on their behalf, we receive them upon your holy rational altar of heaven. Rational altar in heaven is a sweet savor of incense. All their enemies, visible and invisible, trample and humiliate under their feet speedily. As for them, keep them in peace and righteousness in your holy church. Lord, have mercy. Pray for this holy church of our assemblies. Ya Rabbaraham. 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 Ya Rabbaraham.
صلاة بيوت طهارة بيوت بركة أنعم بها لنا ولا عبيدك الآتين بعدنا إلى الآب أدخم أيها الرب ترجى جميع عداك وليعلم من قدام وجم قدسة القدوس أما شعبا In the wisdom of God, let us attend. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Truly, we believe in one God, God the Father, the Pentecostal, Creator of heaven and earth, and of all things seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father of all ages, Light of light, true God of true God, begotten not created, awareness with the Father, by whom all things are made. But for us, men and foul salvation came down from heaven, was incarnate of the Holy Spirit, and the Virgin Mary became man, and he was crucified for us in the Pontius Pilate, suffering when he was buried, and the third day he rose to the dead, according to the scriptures, and sent to the heavens, he sits right in his Father. He is coming again in his glory to judge the living the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. Yes, we believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and the Son is worshiped and glorified. And in one holy Catholic Masonic Church, we confess one back from the mercy of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come.